Sean. About 15 million people here in the U.S. are victims of identity theft, and that's an annual number. The news coming out today from IdentityTheftCenter.org. But there are some very simple things that you can do to help protect your information and keep yourself from becoming a victim. Steve DuBois from Crime Stoppers joins us live here in the studio. Thank you so much for, for being here. Tell us a little bit about the problems that you see here in central Indiana as it relates to identity theft. Well, obviously we've seen the fuel stations that have all had the readers put in them, um, ATMs, anything like that. But we also have all the phishing scams where they're trying to get into your computer so they can get all your information out of your computer. Um, your cell phones hold in, uh, information that you don't want anyone to have, so you have to be careful about how you get rid of them. All of that leads to identity theft, which then leads to monetary loss from our citizens. And we're talking about a lot of things that are digital here, but, but we also have a lot of documents that are around that people can use against us. We just finished our taxes, um, anything with our health insurance, pretty much anything that has your name on it and an account number, you don't want anyone else getting. So those things need to be shredded properly. So we, we need to shred that. Where do you recommend that we do it with an opportunity we have this weekend? Well, this weekend we're going to have five locations throughout central Indiana, and we're going to have one of the biggest shredding companies here shred it and you'll be able to come drop your documents off and it's going to be a drive through lane so you're not even going to have to get out of your car. And uh, WTHR, very happy to be one of these locations. It's very popular where people can come by. Uh, what's the recommendation as far as, uh, do these need to be in boxes or is it, we see some of the images of when people come through, you can see that it's pretty convenient. You don't even have to get out of your car. You don't have to get out of your car and the boxes, what we'd like are like copier size boxes. Um, you start getting much bigger than that and full, full of paper, it gets pretty heavy. Okay, and, and what's the recommendation of, as far as a donation? It, it is free, but we would like people to, to leave a little money along the way because it takes, it takes uh, resources to get this done. Yeah, and, and the, re the money goes to Crime Stoppers for a reward and operating fund, so we ask about a $5 donation per box which is way below what you'd pay if you took it somewhere else to shred it. Oh, absolutely. You can, you can pay a lot of money to have that done. So five locations this weekend from 10 to 1 on Saturday. And uh, if, if, what if people have computers? Because that's another question that people say, I've got items that I'd like to get rid of, not just documents. We, we've set up a recycling uh, with one of the best recyclers in the state. And we have, uh, they will be there and they'll take your phone. Anything with a cord or a battery they will take. and. Anything with a hard drive, they shred the hard drive. So you're going to be safe. None of that information is going to go anywhere. All right, Steve DuBois, thanks. A great opportunity with Shred It Day this weekend. And you can come here to Channel 13 from 10 to 1, as well as those other four other locations. We also have it posted for you online at WTHR.